Do your job. This video is brought to you by True Honor. GoDaddy.com. Enter code HUB749 for a discount off a domain name. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies. Marcos Viegas for FightUpTV.com standing here with Gary Shaw. Now, I also wanted to ask you a question. Uh, last week, um, it, Strike Force cut Fedor and Milinenko. I know that uh, Fedor wasn't in your Elite XC organization, but I, I wanted to get your, your thoughts on this cut uh, regarding Fedor. Uh, I, I did try on several times to get Fedor to come to uh, Elite XC. But the numbers they were asking, just there's no fighter that was worth it. And, you know, I knew that he was also moving up in age. It wasn't a 22-year-old phenom. So I knew it had to be a very short, compressed time. I wasn't willing to meet the demands. It's not, doesn't shock me that he, that he lost. You know, I thought someone like Brett Rogers would beat him, to be honest with you. Um, so, the, you know, the fact that they cut him, why are they going to keep paying him? The, the, it's, it's like when Tyson lost to Buster Douglas and then lost to Holyfield and on. You start losing your luster and people realize you're not invincible any longer. Now, I want to touch on uh, you dealing with Fedor's management. Uh, he tried to make a deal. Well, his management company tried to make a deal with the UFC, and, you know, it's history there where it's kind of difficult dealing with M1 because of, you know, the, the certain, like, co-promotion aspects of everything like that. So I wanted to get uh, your take on that, having to deal with the management company as well. I thought M1 was uh, very difficult to deal with. Uh, it wasn't only Fedor, they wanted to be the co-promoters and the managers and they wanted you to put on so many Russian fighters of theirs on every show. No, nobody's worth that price and maybe if Fedor would have had the right management from the beginning, he might have been in the UFC and been a huge star and continued and, and whatever. And you know, as you can see here in the United States, he was short-lived. Pro Elite is coming back on August, I want to say 27th in Hawaii. They're putting on a card that's showing Andre Arlovsky and uh, BJ Penn's brother. Uh, what's your take on that organization coming back to life? Do you have any say or take in it? What are your thoughts? I have no say, I have no take, but the people that are running it are losers. Gary, thank you very much. Thank you.